morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Oh! Hey! Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at 7th Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Well, it's happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just... Snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff. It's a part of who we are, whether we like it or not. Yeah, the deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? I remember mom saying how Claudio's was the best she'd ever had. If you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. 
can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. You know... Hmm? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it.